Hello everybody and welcome back to another Tinkercad lesson. Um, in the previous lessons I taught you how to use uh, all the basic shapes which are just all the default shapes for uh, you see when you first load into a, a Tinkercad design. And today I'm going to uh, be showing you how to use some of the tools uh, uh, that, that are part of like the more complex side of Tinkercad. And um, the first thing uh, we're going to do is make, uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a screw or threads. And in order to do that, first we're going to click on this drop down, go to shape generators, click on featured. And you're going to bring out this uh, isometric uh, thread, thread something. I can't see the whole name, but just know it's this one right here. All right, I'm just going to drag it to the middle. And all right, so once you click on it, you're going to see a bunch of different uh, settings you can change the diameter, uh, the pitch, the segments, rotations, tip scale, and tip segments. All right, so basically, the diameter is just uh, the diameter of, of the, the, the screw. So uh, the next thing is the pitch. Um, the pitch is basically how steep. Uh, these these uh, threads are so if I were if I were to increase the the pitch it'll make uh, the the threads more steep that and if I lowered it it'll make it less steep all right so I'm just gonna change this to uh, uh, one because I want uh, thin threads all right, so next, um, I'm going to change the rotations. The rotations basically just means uh, if if you were to screw this screw into into a threaded hole, how many times uh, will it be able to, to rotate? So right now it is set at five rotations. So that's why you'll see one, two, three, four, five. There are five uh, sets of threads. So that means it can rotate five times before uh, bottoming out. So I'm going to make this screw longer. So I'm going to change the amount of rotations to 10. To load. All right, so now, okay, so now actually I changed the number of rotations. I have to um, increase the height by uh, since I double the amount of rotations, I have to double the height. So the height is at 10.75 right now. So I'm just going to double that. So that's going to be 21.5. That. So now I have uh, the screw at uh, twice its height from before, and it also had it, it. It also maintains the the same amount of spacing in between each thread. All right, so next we're gonna put a top on this screw and we are going to put uh, a polygon on it. We're gonna put a hex shaped um, uh, screw head. So I'm just gonna lower this to, let's say, um, four millimeters and I'm going to drag this up so that the bottom is the same height uh, let me check what height this is at. Twenty-one point five. Oh, it's not flat with the ground, so I'm gonna change it so that it it's uh, resting on the plane like that. All right, so it has a height of twenty-one point five. So I'm gonna change the height of this to twenty-one point five. And now I'm going to use the align tool, which I taught you last time, to make sure uh, these are uh, the centers of these two objects are stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to click, click on uh, align. Now we're just going to align the the vertical, the vertical axes, and the horizontal, like so. And now they are. Um, aligned we just have to group them 
So again, I'm going to select them and you can press group or control G. All right, there you go. And once you've grouped it, you have created your first screw.